Okay, welcome back to the Bees of the Mountain Bike Channel. Uh, I'm out in Glenbrook National Park. So I've just ridden up the Oaks Fire Trail to the gate, which you can see behind me over there. So it's seven and a half k's to Woodford, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna do the single trail back. So the first section is the old part, which I think they call NSC or something. <coughs> oh, sorry. NSC, which brings you back down to near the Aroka turnoff where the new single trail starts and ends down at the, um, I think it's called Campfire Car Park or something, one that's just on the other side of, of the causeway up the hill. My plan was to drive all the way to there, but the causeway is blocked off, so I had to ride down the hill, cross the causeway, we'd get wet feet, and then ride up to here. We're going to be doing a beer review out here, so let's hang around for that. Let's end it. Okay, start of the Oaks Fire Trail, old part. I'm probably going to heavily edit this because I'm guessing uh, you've seen this before. If you haven't, you can check out my other video, um, Mountain Bike Blue Mountains, where we did Woodford all the way to Glenbrook, plus a bit around Hazelbrook. Oh, my legs are sore already. Oh. Not my legs, more my ass. I've got a sore ass, man. Not enough riding. Watch out for fallen trees and shit. It looks like with all that rain we've had, this was a bloody creek through here. Speed up through here, a bit of a down. Oh, this is a bit washed out. Hold on. Oh, it's bumpy. My plan was to get across the other side of the corner and up a hill so I could do a few laps here but it took me about half an hour to get from the causeway to the, the Woodford um, gate or the Glenbrook end of the Woodford trail Woo. Wetter down here. 
So I'm not sure if I'm going to do two laps now. My ass is already sore just from riding out there. So I think I'm only going to do this one lap. Well, uh, this bit's cruisy as it's just the riding out there that gets me. It's all uphill. It's a gradual increase. It's not like steep, but still enough to give you a sore ass. Uh, at the start, the single trail. But have a have a bit of a look at them and see the best line is at the moment because a lot of it's washed out especially that is it a double jump almost a triple jump i think it's just a couple of step downs <coughs> have a look see if we can find the best way to do it that without going around it Whoa, it's a tiny bit stuff I washed out through there. Probably to send it off all then, but hey, it's a bit. There you go when you haven't been down here for a while. Come to the end. See it. So it's a bit, a bit wet. Not too bad. A bit washed out, but still rideable. I don't think you got to cause much more damage to it. So that's a single trail. I missed a few of the um, features only because only because I'm fucking useless and didn't want to crash and haven't ridden here for a bit. So you know, take it easy, especially when you're out here on your own. Uh, and I haven't seen anyone else out here riding. So so now I've got to 
make a decision whether I'm going to do that again or head back to the car and do the beer review. So till then, send it. So hopefully you can see me because my back screen's not working on my GoPro. I fucking fucked that up by putting my SD card in the wrong way. So, time for the beer review. We're out on site, still out in the National Park, about halfway up to the Rangers station. So I've only got one cell left on the battery, so I'm going to make this quick. We're going to try from the Filter Brewing Company. It's their old ale. I don't have a glass to put it in, but that's the can. It's This is our take on a classic Aussie Old. It's medium bodied brewery, also crafted using roasted malts for an easy drinking beer with hints of chocolate and coffee notes. It's smooth, it's dark, it's old school. So crack it open. Trust me, I've had one of these before, so the color is black. It has a nice sandy tan colored head. Uh, sorry, I thought there was something behind me then. Watch it out for brown snakes and shit. So, smell, not too much of a smell. It smells a bit malty. You can smell the maltiness, the grains. So, I'm imagining this ain't going to be too bitter. It's 4.5% alcohol, and I'm not going to send it because I've got to actually drive a bit later. So, we'll give it a taste. Yeah, look, I've had olds that are a bit more, a bit more creamier, a uh, bit more flavour, but, you know, this is alright. It's like a two years old, it's very similar to the two years old, so if you're expecting it to be more like a, a crafty sort of old, you're not going to get that. You're just going to get, like they say, old school, old ale. The trails, the old part was actually a bit drier than the new. The new bit's got a lot of puddles through it. Bits of it are washed out, but it's still rideable. I mean, man, like, you got to ride somewhere. All the bike parks are closed. Wilds is closed for um, track maintenance. Mount Annan was closed because of the weather. Knapsack's just a shit fight in the rain. Um, I didn't want to go up the Hazelbrook because I've ridden there plenty of tyres. So I thought I'd just come out here, give this a bash. So, pretty happy. So, we'll give this beer a rating before the battery goes off. The Filter Old Ale. Look, it's a type of old that you could probably, on a, like, you know, sit around a campfire and have about fucking six of these while you're toasting some marshmallows or you're cooking some snags on an open fire. This would be a great beer for that. Filter do make some good beers. The other one I tried was an X was an XPA, I think. I'm not sure, but their beers are pretty good, the filter. So out of five, for an old, I'm gonna give it 2.5. So 2.5, look, you wouldn't really want to send this. So I'm gonna say it's a pretty good beer. So till next time, send it! like a mountain bike and a beer. Beer's a mountain bike where legends are made.